Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow and this is the best skin realism workflow you'll find for Flux that can run in low VRAM devices. So this is insane and before even explaining this, I'll just show a small demo of the quality. So just look at the eyes, look at the skin texture. This is what I'm talking about. Like this is insane, insane level of detailing. And this is, this has not been seen before. So the hero of this workflow is basically this model called Flux Sigma Vision Alpha. I am using the Q4 KS version. So you can try it and I am running this on my uh, 4068 GB VRAM. You can run it like uh, you can even run it uh, with 6 GB of VRAM, but it would be uh, slightly slower. But this is insane. And I have different uh, examples as well. And I'll show you there are some weaknesses of this particular model, but uh, we'll discuss it one by one. So firstly, I would like to mention is that I found this particular workflow here, right? And I have modified it so that we can use the GGUF version of the triple clip loader. So these three clip and the unit. So that is the reason why uh, I have like modified this. So you can find uh, this particular workflow in the description box as well. Other than that, you can actually uh, like there is a switch. So if you want, you can activate or deactivate any of these if you want, right? What is happening is that let me uh, go one by one, like go through it one by one. Firstly, it is the scene generate. You can notice here there are sliders. The CFG is three. So basically it can take uh, higher CFG than one. This is a plus point. The aspect ratio that I am using is 1024. So yeah, and with these, I am actually using the turbo flux mod. Now they were also using uh, the fast LoRa. But I am not using it. I am just using turbo and I am still getting very good results. So even if you are just using turbo, that's good. Detail daemon is being used here to slightly increase the detailing. Right. So if you look at it, even the normal image is good. One thing you would notice is that uh, this workflow is exceptionally well when it comes to portraits but if you are looking for full body images especially with like smaller very small hands so there can be some problems with the finger but it can be easily fixed but when you are talking about portraits this is amazing so this is the first scene generation and even then like it looks pretty realistic right but we are not satisfied with it and as you can see, you just need to give a descriptive prompt, nothing uh, like too much. So what I have given here is a breathtaking, highly detailed portrait of a 22 year old Russian woman and strikingly beautiful blue eyes. You can uh, write about the eyes and uh, for a flawless skin, soft, delicate facial features and long flowing hairs uh, falling on the face. The background is soft, blurred with warm tones. Now, uh, this does not take very long context uh, prompts, but it is still better if you can provide it can take some of it. Enhancing the beauty while keeping the focus on face and the lighting is soft and natural, illuminating her features with a gentle glow. So this is the complete uh, prompt. And after this has been generated, you can see it is going for the first upscale. So the first upscale uh, I am using the ultimate is the upscale right upscale by two and there are four steps it is again using that turbo same thing and the upscale model i am using is 4x ultra sharp now i have previously used it with real web photo as well and it works pretty good so whatever you are using you can try it with different upscale models but it is pretty safe with ultra sharp 4x ultra sharp so yeah this is it and here you can see that uh, this is the image that is being generated. So for the comparison, let's look here. This was the normal and this is the enhanced version. So even the normal one looks so realistic, but then you can see like small spots, very small, like unevenness in the skin. And this is what we are talking about. Like the dimple becomes like not dimple, this particular like 
whatever wrinkle it is and it becomes uh, more realistic you can see very fine like hair structures as well you can see the lips and very very high quality very detailed just look at this part so very high quality and uh, very detailed even the hair strands if you look very closely let's come to the eyebrows so you can see it becomes very real and even the hair like uh, the eyebrows some of the hairs are of slightly uneven like different colors stuff like that so it uh, increases the randomness so this is something which i love about this model now if you are not even satisfied by it although i think for most of the cases this would be more than enough if you are not satisfied by it then we are upscaling it again and now if you want to see what like extreme quality looks like this just look at the clarity just look at it so it is so detailed like it is insanely detailed you can see this unevenness the pores of the skin is visible and so uh, like obviously you can understand what level of quality this, uh, this is achieving so ultra realistic right and uh, this is the thing this does not look plastic at all now let's go to the second uh, example here this is the normal image that has been generated and these are the things for the teeth you can see because this was like a smaller image you can see that the teeth is slightly uneven like it looks good pretty good for the generation that is also turbo but uh, it looks slightly off now with the upscale just look at it there is definition to it but we will again fix it so the lips and everything get the definition and you can look at the eyes everything is getting better and better now finally with the upscale 2 just look at the teeth and you can see every problem that was there has kind of been fixed and the quality is insane so you you can even look at here like there is uh, unevenness in the application of the lipstick so like very small things but the way it has been enhanced like th this is insanely good just look at the quality so yeah everything you can literally uh, feel the water in the eyes you know like the, it is so so uh, super realistic now one and only uh, negative point about i would not say negative the weak point of this model is that when we are generating full body images firstly you can see the hand is not properly generated in the first pass doesn't matter it will be fixed in the upscale but if there is complex interaction here the hand was supposed to be on uh, her knee so in the second upscale you can see this hand has been fixed so there is nail paint and the finger has been fixed and it looks pretty natural right and uh, her clothes are wet and everything is so realistic but this was not fixed so it looks like a blob and this will continue in this generation as well so even with this it tries to create it into a knuckle or something like that but it does not become you can see it slightly becomes like nail and uh, it is not that great but again this hand you can see becomes better and better like the resolution and everything becomes too good you can look at the hand as well tiny bumps on the skin and everything just look at the face the eyes and everything so it is very high quality the hair so amazing but again if you are using it for these kind of images it can create very realistic images but the hands are slightly messed up so this was the whole workflow you will find this in the description box below uh, along with all the links necessary and if you have any kind of comments or doubts or anything uh, just pro uh, provide it in the comment section and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you